Hey everyone and welcome back again. The 2.7 was a rather large update for Mission Builders and here I have another element to show you. Well I'll show you this element and a number of smaller elements towards the end, uh, some improvements that have been made. But in this particular instance right now what I want to show you is this new trigger zone scenario where say you wanted to have a bridge destroyed by a group of aircraft it wouldn't necessarily register and you would have to use scripting to say whether that item had been destroyed or not. Well now, it's built into the core of the sim and it is a conditional action. So, I'll show you how it works. First of all, we click on the item using the right mouse button. So let's go in for this railway bridge here. It's at Folkestone Harbour. And then we click Assign As. And as you can see, it's selected Railway Bridge Arc 2 Line Circular. So we could potentially make that uh, a quad point if we wanted to. It's up to you. But I showed you that in a previous video. Anyway, I'll put it back to a circle. And now what we can have is, let's go to the triggers box here. So we'll create a first trigger action. I won't name, I'll, I'll just, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll call it uh, Rail Bridge. Rail bridge and the condition. And the new condition is called map object is dead. So we'll select that and then we'll select the railway bridge arc 2 line, which was the trigger zone. And then we can say that there was a message going out to somebody saying message to all. Bridge destroyed. And then we could add a sound to that as well if we wanted to. So sound to all. I don't know. I'll just use one of the ones in here. I'll just say bombs away. And there we go. Now, what will happen is that's a target. Aircraft will attack it. If it's destroyed, a message will appear on screen and the sound will play. So let's see that in sim now. And here we have some 190s on the way into attack that bridge with some 500 pounders. Let's see what happens. There we go, bombs away. I've placed a vehicle, so we'll switch to that now. Let's have a look at the bridge. Steady. Steady. Bombs away. And there you have it. The trigger actually worked. So that's another addition to the latest open beta 2.7 patch. Now I'll show you some minor changes that have happened within the mission editor. Now this is only a minor change but significant nonetheless. So let's click on the ground vehicle. So it's a ground vehicle type scenario. And let's look at the vehicle group box now. Everything remains the same except there's now a subcategory here. And you can select, I've got armor selected, you can select all. Now you can go to personnel carriers, infantry fighting vehicles, main battle tanks, player drivable, so you don't have to scroll through the lure files to find out which ones are drivable and which ones are not. So you can place a player drivable version. Scout and recon, self-propelled gun, self-propelled ATGM, or a tank. So the subcategorization of the ground vehicles is particularly useful. Now that concludes this particular video. And I hope you found it useful and helpful, and hopefully informative. So I'll catch you later. Ciao for now.
Bum 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 b